Good day, I am Natasha Phillips, your host of the LA Home Show. Today, we have Ben Balak with us. He has reached new heights in his career, and we're going to hear all about it. Hi, Ben. We're so happy to have you join us. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Right. So, we'd like to firstly know how you got into the industry. Um, well, it was uh, a bit random, actually. I came to Los Angeles on a creative path uh, as an actor. And like most actors, uh, I was waiting tables at, at night to free up my days for auditions. And I've always been someone who likes to master whatever craft it is that I'm attempting, whether it's on a surfboard or um, you know, with a wine list. And as I slowly moved up the ranks into the finest of dining and was selling wine that was uh, very expensive, um, I started to think that um, there would be a place for me selling things that were um, much larger in scale. And also I, I had an innate um, uh, instinct that formed as far as accommodation and service. So I wanted to apply that to something bigger and more exciting. That's a very interesting path. <laughs> yeah, it was. So, <laughs> so now um, what You've, you, you have reached new heights in your career, and what do you think has driven you to do that? Um, that's a very good question. I think part of that is my upbringing. I grew up um, in a, a bit of a, a, a blue-collar town in Philadelphia uh, where people spend long hours working very hard. Uh, I've always been someone that has been goal-oriented, and the beauty of real estate is the more, uh, the harder you work, um, generally, the better you will do, and, and as you hit each milestone, uh, it inspires you to get to the next. That's great. I, I love those inspirational stories. Um, so what has been the most interesting project or property that you've worked on in your career? That's a difficult question to answer because sometimes you could work on something that is very, very inexpensive. However, it's incredibly emotional and important to the client. Uh, then other times we will have a new construction listing where we throw a party and park a quarter million dollar car in the driveway and throw uh, a $5,000 party, um, end up representing both sides, uh, closing in two weeks and you know, get a ton of press. And wh while those can be very exciting and glamorous in a way for you to puff up your chest a little bit in front of your colleagues. Um, early in my career, we had a listing that we got signed and I'm not exaggerating, but while they were signing it, um, there were tears falling down onto the listing agreement because it was such an incredible life-changing moment for them. And um, I don't know where this comes from, but I honestly get the most fulfillment with those transactions more than the wheeling and dealing. Well, that speaks to your heart. It, it does. I don't know where it comes from, to be honest, but I really do enjoy those the most. Good upbringing and fully. Yeah, and it's probably a good relationship with my mom. She would probably like me to say that, too. So, yeah. Well, isn't it that you always have to have, like, a, a good woman behind a successful man? It's always the mother. That's right. Like, people should understand that. Yeah, that's right. I think she instilled um, uh, empathy and, you know, stamped it onto my DNA and Look, of course, we're in this to make money. We have life goals personally. And, you know, mo most of us in this town, even the ones that do, don't do a ton of business, still make a good living. Um, there's just something special about when you get a call from a mailer and someone says, you know, we're down I'm downsizing. I need to go live closer to my son or whatever it may be. But, you know, it's it's what makes real estate exciting every day. I mean, you go from the developers to the owner users like I just I just um, explained. So it's hard for me to really pinpoint which which is best. I mean, I do I do enjoy the deal making aspect of it, too. So when we use leverage effectively in our clients favors and and we and they do well, that's always really exciting, too. That's great. So if you had any tips or tricks that you'd like to um, share to new agents or people wanting to get into the industry, what would you recommend? 
Um, well, first, I would say the sooner you relinquish fear asking for the business, the sooner you will be successful. And I tell other agents that I mentor that you can be whoever you want to be in the room. You can be whoever you want to be on the call. The one warning to that or asterisk is that um, you don't want to speak out of school. If you get caught speaking out of school, then your integrity is compromised for the trajectory or you know the, 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 the life of that relationship. But if you um, encounter someone that has a certain personality type, if you can mirror that or meet them in the middle, there's really no limit to what you can do. And people really do respond to confidence. So if you prepare and you know your stuff on a meeting, there's no reason why you can't be seriously considered against any agent in town, no matter what their sales volume is. That's a good tip. Thanks. People take note. <laughs> <laughs> so what keeps your passion alive? Um, I have a very, my, I, that's a tough question. Um, <laughs> I have a, a pretty specific why. Uh, when you meet with real estate coaches or, you know, successful people in the industry, those that have, those that have tenure and that have Re really been journeyman salespeople, whether it's it's in real estate or or a similar field where you know people are 100% commission. Let's mm -hmm. say um, it's tough because for us, people want to talk about real estate when you're off. You know, you're working all day, you're you're digging up inventory, you're servicing your current deals, uh, you're calling clients, you're calling leads, and then at seven o'clock when your current clients are off work they want to talk about real estate and of course they want to talk about it all weekend long it can be exhausting you know you, you'll try to have life balance you'll be out on um date night with your your other half and um you start getting calls can you send me x you know in this neighborhood uh, and you, you know you're counting the commission in the tens of thousands of dollars and it's it's really hard to not only have that balance um but also draw a line in the sand and i think um um, for me, what keeps me passionate is having a very defined and personal why, as in like what I'm working for personally that drives me through every day. Um, but what sustains it is, is balance. The balance is really important. Yeah, I hear you. So what are you most excited about right now, whether it's personally or in real estate? Um, I'm most excited in real estate um, in tracking my numbers, this is the third year in a row that I'm on pace to double my sales volume. Uh, I do uh, work at the agency in Beverly Hills where I'm incredibly supported uh, in a way that I've never been supported in any uh, job position before in or outside of real estate. Um, it makes coming to the office every day and doing what we do uh, very fun and fulfilling despite the high emotions that we're surrounded with. And also, even though I just touched on it, it's easier said than done to find work-life balance. And I feel that only very recently, meaning in the last 90 days, have I been able to find that balance and draw the line uh, where work ends and, and life begins in, in a regimented and routine way. Good. And lastly, I wanted to find out what is your best listing that you have at the moment? Um, my best listing at the moment, uh, that's really hard because personally, I respond to all my little mid-century moderns that um, were designed to have, you know, the outside brought in and all the exposed posts and beams. And while they're not the most expensive, those are the most exciting to me. I have several coming up in Laurel Canyon in Wonderland to be specific. But of course, um, I have a couple new construction homes that are in the five million range that are about to come online too, which are always exciting to represent. Then thank you so much for being with us today and tune in next time to LA Home where we discuss all things real estate, interior design and landscaping.